Find will be investigated individually by the Justice Agri Muchelule led tribunal. In today's status conference by the tribunal, Commissioner Irene Masit, through her lawyer, Donald Kipkorir, said she had been threatened and told to resign by today through a phone call by an unidentified female caller. The tribunal has adjourned its sessions to December 20th. Seth Olale followed the tribunal. Tribunal's status conference in Nairobi. The Justice Agre Muchelule Tribunal, tasked with investigating the conduct of IEBC Commissioner Irene Masit and three others who recently resigned, held a status conference that brought together Masit's lawyer Donald Kipkorir and petitioners. Commissioner Masit, through her attorney, sought to have the proceedings stopped, citing an ongoing case at the High Court that seeks to quash the tribunal's work. This tribunal is subordinate to the High Court. And in view of the fact that now we have a petition which is, which is uh, live, which seeks to quash these proceedings, it may only be good order again. And Again, the same thing on, on substantial justice that uh, we may we defer taking directions until after 19. Once, once we know what the trial judge will direct on uh, 19 of December. Commissioner Masit, through her lawyer, Kip Korir, telling the Justice Agri Muchelule Tribunal that it would be inappropriate for her to face it alone, yet her co-accused, namely Justice Nangaya, Juliana Cherera and Francis Swanderi, have already resigned from IABC. Now that there is only one commissioner remaining, then there has to be a new mandate, or unless this uh, tribunal says there's a mandate to, to revise the Gazette notice on its own motion and proceed against one commissioner. Masit's attorney telling the tribunal that the suspended IBC commissioner was ordered to resign by today, failure to which there will be unspecified consequences. So you as will treat it as a rumor because there's nothing really factually replaced before us. If you tell us that so and so by name, because we go by name, has asked or is putting pressure on a commissioner to resign, then we can deal with it. Masit also revealing to the tribunal that her staff, including bodyguards and vehicle, have been withdrawn despite her being on suspension and not having been sacked. Our preliminary view would be that whatever it is that the commissioner is constitutionally entitled to, they must receive it. Responding to Masit's reservations, the tribunal ruled that the hearings will proceed as the immediate former IABC commissioners will be investigated individually. Commissioners each took the appointment. It was an individual appointment and individual of that was taken in regard to the Constitution and it is individual quest for the removal of uh, the Commissioner and therefore uh, we will um, proceed and inquire into the allegations that were contained in the petition as conveyed to us. The tribunal agreeing to resume its session after the determination of a case against its mandate at the High Court on 19 December 2022. The proceedings resume on the 20th of this month. The tribunal challenging Commissioner Masit to produce substantial evidence showing that she has indeed been threatened to resign, but at the same time stating that her constitutional rights and privileges must be granted. The petitioners will be among the first entities to face the tribunal when it resumes on the 20th of December 2022. Seth Olale, Citizen TV, Nairobi County.